Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 11th of December 2020 and the time has just gone 11.30 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is Brent Crude Oil, the cash market. And this is a wider term view of the, uh, of the energy market. Uh, we can see here that it, after it had a colossal uh, sell-off because of the COVID-19 crisis uh, and a bit of, an, a, bit of a, tr a price war between Saudi Arabia and, and Russia, it had a brutal decline into April, but since then has been bouncing back. And recently, it's been in a strong upward trend. Uh, in fact, yesterday, uh, it traded north of $50 per barrel, the first time since March. So we've cooled a little from the recent nine-month highs. Um, why has the oil market been been driving higher? Well, in the last few week, uh, in, in the last few weeks and months, there's been a few developments. Um, on one hand, the economic rebound uh, in China has been pretty clear and pretty evident, particularly in the manufacturing sector. China is a big importer of commodities, including oil. Um, there's also been hopes in the last few weeks in relation to a vaccine uh, for the COVID-19 crisis. The idea being that if the global economy improves. Uh, if there's a vaccine, that should improve the global economy and therefore worldwide demand should increase. Uh, and more recently, OPEC Plus, uh, the group of oil producing nations, uh, recently decided uh, that they would roll back on the current production cuts that they have in place, but the rollback uh, wasn't as severe as initially intended. The idea was to you know, undo uh, supply cuts by 2 million barrels, uh, but in fact, they only only kind of rolled it, rolled it back by 500,000 barrels per day. You know, this, this these are the new um, production plans that will come into effect in January. So they're effectively keeping the pressure on output. Therefore, that has helped uh, the price. So therefore, we can see <clears throat> we see it quite clearly uh, since early November, it's been a very strong and aggressive upward trend. We retreated uh, from the highs of yesterday, which was you know up towards. $51 a barrel. Um, a bit of a pullback isn't really a surprise after you've had a, nine, a new nine-month high, but the trend is still very much to the upside. So if we press on higher from here and if we retake 50 bucks a barrel, we could be looking at retesting this area here, the highs of early March. And they come into play in a $54.28. And if we go beyond that, we could be looking at heading back up towards the highs of mid-February, just as the kind of COVID-19 crisis was kicking off. And that comes into play uh, just, just in around the kind of $60 per barrel area. Now, if you take a look uh, at the price action, um, where could we potentially see support if you drift lower from here? Well, we could find support from the kind of 48 region. Um, not too long ago, that area uh, acted as a support, kind of relief before the next uh, leg higher. And a move below that could take us back down toward this zone here, down around uh, $46.81. And even if you go below that, we could head back down towards $45. We can see that it, that general area acted briefly as resistance uh, in November. It acted as a fairly wide area of consolidation um, back in August as well. So keep an eye for 45 bucks. And even if you go below 45 bucks, we'd probably, probably be still be in the upper trend, given of how much it's rallied between uh, early November and now. And if you do go below 45, keep an eye for this area here, where the yellow line here, the 100 day moving average kind of con converges with the 50 day moving average, um, with this, this blue line here, that comes into play in around, um, in both in around kind of, $43.72, $43.42, there, thereabouts. Now, you can see that in the last few weeks and months, both of those metrics at very different occasions have acted as both support and resistance. So keep an eye for that zone um, as it might act as support in the near term. Now, if you are going to be trading Brent crude oil, it's worth your while keeping an eye on what's going on on WTI, uh, West Texas Intermediate. Uh, Dow theory states uh, that, that the averages must confirm each other. And what that essentially means is if a, mar if a market is moving in a certain direction, similar markets are likely to be moving in a, to be moving in, in a similar direction. So brain crude oil is in a solid upward trend. And as we can see here, WTI is in a similar position. Yesterday, WTI also racked up a new nine month high and it's a touch lower today. So if we see WTI retesting its early March highs, we could see something similar on Brent crude oil. Um, thank you for listening. That's all from this video. Have a good trading week and good luck.